How you doing? We finally made it here. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the Run to the Sun Car Show. This is one amazing event. I'm going to start this video off by telling you that there's over 3,200 cars here. I really want to show you all 3,200 plus cars. It's just not going to happen at this show. There are just so many cars to see and they're just rows and rows and they just keep on going. I'm going to show you a mixture of hot rods, custom street rides and muscle cars on this video. I hope you all watch it, you all enjoy it. There's a lot here, and let's get started with the Run to the Sun car show from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Let's get in there and see some cars. This 1971 Dodge Charger, I pulled out of a field about five years ago, totally rebuilt it. It's 440, four speed, 355 geared car. Let's take a closer look at the engine. Okay. It's a factory 440, 1974 vintage. Uh, I added classic auto air, a Luani Voodoo cam. I'm running factory exhaust manifolds. Pretty much a stock built, it's built for drivability. The electrical's all new, uh, AC new aluminum radiator. This is approximately 450 at current build. I would expect it to dyno maybe a little more, but I don't know. The color is a factory 1971 color. It's called uh, Hemi Orange yep. or Tor Red, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, it's a light, got a light metallic and a little bit of red to the orange. They used it uh, from 1969 to 1972. Yes, they are unique to this. They're a one-year-only headlight. They did this in 71 and 72, but they changed the style in 72. They're electric flip-up headlight. They were standard on the special edition, and they're optional on other models. Hey, talk, about, talk about the perfect spot. Look at me down here. This is like the all-day spot, right? Right yeah. here? Factor Shines Auto this Detailing, like... Syracuse, New York. Oh, you got a plug in there. Yeah. Wow. You didn't mind, did you? No. We stay, we stay nice and dry. So where are the cars parked? Right here. Right out here. You just okay. took pictures of us. We're running the cars and yep. You got the all day. And... Hey, you got an all day cigar there? Yep. All right. Cigar, I'm all set. I've been coming since '87. Wow, huh? That's all. And you're local? I am now. Enjoy the show, man. Great Bye. job. Bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. I'll check back with you guys later on. This truck right here has a new option on it. Bet you can't tell what it is yet. Brand new option, this guy just installed this truck. I don't think he even knows it yet. Covered up from the rain. But he got himself a pool. Got himself a jacuzzi back here. <laughs> got himself a little jacuzzi pool back here. Hey, there we are. Trading in the nice microfiber towels there for a little, what do you got there? You stepped in what? I said, you changed in your little cleaning towel for what? A squeegee today. Yeah. Because of the weather. I still got the other. It's going to be an all day job, but it's beautiful. 
Yeah, I'm wasting my time because I can feel it coming down right now. That's that right. So I'm quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the, I'm on the downhill slope. Yeah, you can see it coming down. Yeah, I can see it coming down. Yeah, you can see it coming a lot of these. They're beautiful. Even in a rainy day. This is a 1964 Four Bear Ramside truck. They only made 850 of them. Reef, Reef, how you doing? You enjoying the show? This is what I usually do, my. It's nothing but a hound dog, but I can't do that. I'm um, great, great. Tell me Beautiful day here. It's around the sun. Well, this car is a 1971 Chevelle Super Sport convertible. It's got a, four, it's a 434 racing motor for Skip White. Um, you got Coastal Speed that did all the mechanical and electrical work. It's got a Muncie transmission M22 four on the floor. Uh, all the interior has been redone by Custom Care. White interior, white trunk enclosure. It's actually perfect. We took it from the body and then Chris from Coastal Speed did everything from the engine to the transmission to the exhaust all the way up to with all the electrical work. It's perfect now. Can you get to hear you start it up? Sure, we'd love to start it up.
Or how you doing? Good, same with your cars. 1940 Special Deluxe. And the engine, of course? 496. Wow. Wow. She runs. Yes, sir. Start her up. Let's hear it. Yes, sir. It's, uh, my name's Thomas Lasarga, otherwise known as former Staff Sergeant Lizard. Uh, when I came home from combat, uh, I needed something to do. So I built this here 1937 Studebaker Coupe Express pickup truck from the frame and a couple body pieces. And uh, the special features are it's a uh, Studebaker all the way through. And uh, I got a build book that shows all the finute details that I, I want, went. I want the color. The color, the color is uh, yellow originally. So I called up the museum and they had colors like uh, Beverly blue and, and stuff like that. I don't know what that is. And then it is bright yellow. So I'm looking for bright yellow. Museum says bright yellow, we're going with bright yellow. Because it's a Studebaker V8 instead of a Babbitt Baron flathead six cylinder, which it would have had original, but I didn't have one at the time. Beautiful. They built their own engine. In the history of Studebaker, they were called Blacksmith Brothers. They began in the wagon days and blacksmiths think metal. Metal, metal, metal. So when it came time to build the bed for this, they thought a metal bed. All the other companies thought wood, wood, wood. Because my last name is Lessard, the uh, military thought it was a joke call me lizard and, and, and the name stuck <laughs> well i want to thank you very much for your service to our country and i want to thank you very much for sharing your story with us here at router tv it's a beautiful truck to share thank you very much thank you very much sir
LS Corvette motor. Beautiful. It's, it's just $80,000.
right there. That's how I like it. Yeah. Just like that. Where are you from? You're going to go local? Baltimore. Uh, okay. Theme on this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 